All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, welcome to the Network Service Mesh meeting. Uh, we have uh, we have three recurring calls. We have this particular meeting, which occurs every Tuesday. We have the NSM Doc meeting, which <coughs> which occurs every um, or which occurs um, every uh, every Wednesday. Uh, I believe there's July has been uh, postponed for it. Um, and we have we have the NSM use case meeting. Cool. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Taylor. That's a big help because I have my laptop packed away. I'm, I'm about to fly off. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, Premier, uh, the use case, uh, uh, Ramki is not back, so uh, he had mentioned that probably we can resume back in August uh, second week. Um, so I probably will put a note in the document. Cool. Can we add that to the, um, sure. to the agenda? Right. We also attend the uh, TNCF Telecom User Group, which occurs every first and third Monday. Uh, all of this is at 8 a.m. Pacific time. We have the CNCF Networking Working Group, which occurs every two weeks on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, right after this meeting. And we have events coming up. We have DBDK User Space. Um, I have a uh, talk accepted there uh, for the state of DBDK and Network Service Mesh. There is a uh, potential conference at Open Core Summit. Um, hey, Prem, were you, were you able to reach out to them, or is that still pending? Uh, yeah, I've dropped an email. Um, I haven't heard back. I'll probably keep you posted on that. Cool. We have uh, ONS Europe, uh, which is happening in Antwerp, and we have several accepted talks. Um, we have a uh, crafting CNFs using uh, the X Factor CNF methodology, which me and Nikolai are giving. Um, there is a talk on NSM with the CNF test bed, which is with uh, Nikolai and Taylor. There is a uh, kernel based boarding plane uh, by Radoslav and a service mesh interface talk uh, with NSM with, um, with Ivana. <coughs> There's also going to be a CNCF. Uh, telecom user group meeting and a tutorial on on driving telco performance with CMFs, uh, which I assume is going to have uh, NSM attached to it. And we are going to have we are going to be on a panel uh, that is going to be ran by Heather Kirsky. All right, and so we have quite a full agenda for ONS Syrup. We have, on October 8th, there is the Cloud Data Revolution by Comcast. Uh, call for Papers closes August 16th. So uh, we sh if anyone's gonna be in that area, we should definitely consider it. We have Open Source Summit in Lyon, which uh, Call for Papers is already closed. We have Nikolai, who added a talk in, Radoslav, um, and Ivana have also submitted a talk. Uh, notifications for those will be on August 5th and the schedule will be announced on August 8th. Um, we have Instacon and Sophia. Um, can you scroll down, uh, Taylor? Thank you. So we have Insta uh, Instacon and Sophia with Ivana having a share talk. We have KubeCon North America. So we are waiting for the results on that. We have several talks submitted. So we should hear about that in September. Um, and uh, we have Edge Computing World, which is going to occur December 10th through 11th in Mountain View. Uh, we have Edge Congress in November. Um, where the schedule has been announced, uh, but there, you could still send an inquiry if you're interested in talking at Edge Conference, uh, Edge Congress. <clears throat> so I assume that's you that joined Ed. Uh, 
that's maybe that's something since you're based in Austin, maybe that's something that uh, that uh, we should take up. Okay, cool. It is also it also like a week or so before KubeCon, so that should be good good practice. Oh yeah, we have uh, there's a recurring call for demos at Kubernetes community meeting. Uh, demos are usually booked about a month to six weeks in advance. So when we're ready to do so, we should give them a thing. And as a reminder, please add any events with NSM presence to the website. You can do so with a pull request. And uh, are there any, any other events that we need to, to add to this document or is that good? Okay, with that, uh, do we have Lucina on the call? We do. Hi, uh, yes. Okay, you have the floor. Wonderful. So the past week, um, sent out two tweets, announced the DPDK user space presentation and the OVS Orbit podcast that's on the way. Gained 10 more followers, um, followed quite a few folks and 37 tweets and retweets. The ONS Europe schedule was announced just this morning, so there will be lots of content to go out to um, announce all of the all of the talks that were accepted, in the panels, in the tutorials, in the user group meetings. And so I'll start by announcing the ONS EU schedule, and then I'll go um, day by day and promote each one as we get closer to the event as well. Cool. Many thanks, and we continue to make good progress. Absolutely. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, so we have the SDK refactor. Should we jump straight into that? Yeah, I just wanted to call a little bit of attention to this to folks. Um, so we've, we've had an excellent SDK, and I, I, I sort of looked at it and cooked at it a bit, and put together a refactor to kind of simplify it um, some more. And, and the, the basics are effectively, you know, you, you and continue to be that you chain together little Lego blocks of functionality um, so that you can say, okay, I want to write a network service endpoint. So I want to make sure it has a monitor server and um, I'd like to use an IPAM, the particular kind of IPAM for it. And I'd like it to plug into whatever my data plane and my network service endpoint element, is, network service endpoint is like, you know, plug it into VPP and, oh, gee, I'd like to apply some ACLs to that. And you can sort of chain together little Lego blocks of functionality, and then you only have to write the, the one piece that's different from what it is that you, um, the Lego block, if you have something that's not doesn't have a Lego block, that's the only piece you have to write. Among other things that I'm doing in the course of this that are actually is actually kind of super cool is I realized that I could take the stuff that we get from Jaeger for tracing and essentially provide internal tracing. And this is really cool because it means that you can figure out what components are taking up time in the system. Um, and it also is set up in such a way that if you log things inside a particular Lego block, those logs get attached to your span. So if you're trying to debug what's going on, rather than having to sift through endless logs and try and correlate logs, you can just look at the trace and say, okay, this is where precisely where things went off the rails. I can see exactly here because you can chase down the trace of the network service endpoint. So I wanted to encourage folks to take a look at that. I'm still working on getting some of the kinks worked out in terms of passing CI, but it's coming along nicely overall. Um, <clears throat> cool. Yeah, most of the files changed are just, you know, applying the, the, the changes to a lot of places. It's like anything else when you when you move something like this. Cool. Um, anything else anybody wants to talk about this particular network service switch meeting? I know we're kind of in the middle of the summer doldrums. Lots of people are out on vacation. 
Um, I will say I'm very excited about the interdomain stuff. I am as well. So there, there's a lot of stuff that's in the process of landing that I'm super excited about. So the interdomain stuff is in the process of landing. Um, the DNS stuff is in the process of landing. The security stuff is in the process of landing. Um, a lot of these things, basically, the work has been done and they function. And they've been done in public, so you can go look at the PRs. But I think the PR authors are in the process of peeling them off into smaller, more reviewable pieces. Um, so that those can be reviewed more easily and merged. So, um, yeah, it, it's super exciting that this stuff is actually working and very shortly going to be in the main line. So um, if there's nothing else that we have in the agenda, then uh, we can uh, yield back uh, time for, uh, for people to get more things done. That seems like a good plan. Fantastic. Well, is, uh, is there any last, uh, last minute uh, things that anyone wants to talk about? All right, well, with that, uh, we will see you all at the same time next week. Thank you all for your time. Cool. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye.